So tonight we're going to work with making a martini. Actually, it'll be a Gibson martini. The um, makings are vermouth, black Pratt, uh, Tanqueray Gin, 90 proof Tanqueray Gin, and uh, Mazetta cocktail olives to make it a Gibson. We've got a jigger. Take just a teensy bit. Not that much. And a spoonful of onion juice. And one. Two. Three. Could stop there, but what the hell? Four. Put on the lid. I vacillate between shaking and stirring. Shaking is not the best because you can overshake and turn out something that tastes like dishwater. But if you're careful, it turns out quite well. And I have, I notice almost every bar shakes. And only occasionally will a bartender turn out dishwater. Usually it's quite good. So I tend to do the shake deal. But it's not very many and not big ones. There's one. settled on 10 for no apparent reason. Digital system, I guess. The final and mandatory ingredient for a decent martini is a well-chilled glass. You'll notice this one just came out of the freezer. And we'll put the onions in there. Pour the martini. And somewhere years ago, I heard a bartender say that a good martini has a certain amount of melt in it to bind the flavors together or something. So I always make a point of getting all the uh, leftover, which is not bad because if you've shaken it, there's a little bit of ice floating around and you don't want to drink the martini when the ice is still there. And there's a little residual. You don't want to waste anything. Waste not, want not. So let's try this. I think I can choke it down. <laughs>